News tonight, a $24 million initiative aimed at improving Lake Erie's water quality is gaining momentum. Gannon University is seeking $1.5 million from Erie County for the project. It's Project Neptune. Erie News Now, Jamison Hixenbaugh explains what the initiative entails and how the funds would be used. The historic Union Fish Company building in Wolverine Park Marina will soon take on new life. That facility is, is a key to the project. Gannon University is seeking $1.5 million from Erie County to transform the old building into the Great Lakes Research and Education Center. The facility will be used to test water samples for microplastics and other pollutants currently found in Lake Erie. All things from the other lakes come down into Lake Erie, so this project is really about how do we do our part to ensure that we are sustaining one of the largest uh, uh, resources of, of water. It's all part of a six-phase initiative known as Project Neptune. The project aims to address Lake Erie's water quality by removing and preventing pollutants from entering the lake. The measurement piece, we have drones that measure air quality as well as submersible drones and, and ways that we can measure what's going on in the water. And we can manufacture those in our new manufacturing facility that's currently under construction. According to Erie County Executive Brenton Davis, Gannon's initiative falls in tandem with Project Resolve. These are the two lead initiatives identified in the investment playbook that, uh, I mean, they're job creators. They connect us to that blue economy. According to Gannon President Keith Taylor, Project Neptune will help preserve Lake Erie while growing the local economy. It can be the start of a, a whole new uh, venture for Erie as a tourist and a research destination um, on Lake Erie. Jamison Hixenbaugh, Erie News Now. And Erie County Council will consider funding, funding for this Project Neptune during a first reading of the proposal, and that's coming up Tuesday.